All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome in. Yeah, found us once again. Shoot the gap. A rabbit hole fantasy football focus show. And uh, I am your humble MC, Brian, the Amigo Baldwin. And it's my pleasure, it's my honor to introduce, of course, Connor, the gut marshal. How you doing, my brother? Doing good, brother. Thank you for my intro, as always. Glad to be on the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. So, uh, <laughs> we, uh, this is the, uh, probably the, the, this could be the last time for a while, everybody, that you could be able to hear all this awesomeness. Uh, Connor's going to be taking a break for a little bit. Uh, so, uh, he'll be back. He'll be back from time to time. I'll but so, you know, it's not, it's not dying. <laughs> okay. But, uh, I'm just flying so, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, so, exactly, right. You gotta let the Maverick, Maverick fly, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, so, uh, we'll keep it playing since this will be the last time. Um, it is now the 82nd show, September 24th, in this hopeful year of our Lord, and on today's show, we're gonna go over the scuds and duds of Thursday night, some good news, shoot or cease fire for this week's games. Sounds like a lot, right, dude? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right. So, well, before we move on, let's go ahead and make sure and thank the supporters of our show. I'll go ahead and start with uh, High Body Music Radio, of course. That's always the one I, I always choose, the one I always like to pimp, you know, because uh, I'm part of it. <laughs> so, yeah, High Body Music Radio. Make sure and download the app. Check out highvolumemusicradio.com. Uh, you can hear shows like Ed Dravine's Vocal Sounds, a Business Knowledge Broker Show, Bring Back the A-Track, Access Graded, Brown Sugar Express, What's On Your Mind with Aunt Boogie, Blame It on the Boogie, the Monday Mixtape, and, of course, Drive Time Sports with Charlie and Brian. And you also get music with that. <laughs> Those are just the shows that have come along with it. You actually get all this incredible type of music, so please download the app free all it costs is a little space on your phone that's it it's free 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 to you yeah as your pocket so check it out you know connor it ain't high volume then it ain't loud enough man nice 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 once you get the, the the next one yeah 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 son we're gonna talk about sports host the number one sports app out there where is it it's in the link in the description and what's great about Sports Host is that it transcends the troll, man. There's no trolling on there. I know some people, all they want to do is troll, and they have nothing else better to do with their life. But that's not what Sports Host is about. It's a great, positive place where you can talk about sports. Download it in the link below. Sports Host. <laughs> all right, with that. No good news is good good news. No good news is good good news. You ain't got any rules. If you ain't got any good news. Ha! Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Harry can do, man. Yeah, you're gonna miss hearing that, aren't you? Well, I mean, you're, again, you're not dying. Hopefully I'm, gonna, I'm still... gonna listen to it in my own time. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, so, every yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Every. Th- nice, nice. I love it, dude. I love it. I love it. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started, man, with the. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the big news of the day. All right, so this is, uh, you know, what do you think I'm going to talk about? Christian McCaffrey hurt McCaff- his hamstring. McCaff. Yes, in last night's, last night's game. And the latest report is that he expected to miss a few weeks. It's expected that rookie Chuba Hubbard will take over for a CMC, and that's what we saw last night. 11 rushes, 52 yards. Five targets, three run, three receptions, sorry, 27 yards, plus a drop pass in the end zone. Yeah, man. love the drop pass in the end zone staff. Chubba Wumba. That's what I'm going to call Chubba. <laughs> Chubba Wumba. <laughs> That's the connection, man. That's why I'm playing this, dude. And Brian owns this guy in the SJD yes. League. Uh, well, yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah. Chubba, Chubba, <laughs> Chubba Wumba, that's what we're going to call him. Uh, but there were reports that Duke Johnson is working out for the Panthers today, so you never know what's going to happen there. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of funny, dude. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. Well, let's uh, hope he's yeah. not a Duke of a Johnson. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't know what, you know, I don't know if Freeman's going to take over. I mean, yeah, it was great last week, or yesterday, last night. Uh, but I don't know if that's actually what's going to, you know, transpire, you know, keep going. So, uh, yes, I own him uh, or manage him, and I'm going to use him whenever I can. I'm just going to check and see what's going on. But there might be a chance that that might not be worth anything. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, man, 
is listed as a game time decision due to sore ribs. What's your thoughts on that, Connor? You're you are a manager of Mr. D Hop. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna pivot if I have to, but his game is early on Sunday, so we're gonna we're gonna know ahead of time. We're probably gonna know Sunday morning what to do. I mean, there are guys out there like I got I got Sterling Shepard in both leagues uh, for uh, Antonio Brown actually, but then I played Robbie Anderson, and I'm probably not gonna play Robbie Anderson moving forward. Uh, but I have uh. I, I currently in the league with D Hop for a point of reference. I have. Julio Jones and Sterling Shepard chilling out on my bench right now. And I have Devontae Smith in the flex, who I'm going to probably... I could move him up to D-Hop's spot if I really wanted to. And I could put... Uh, in the rare instance that Mitchell plays on Sunday, I could put him in. But I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, one thing I would be really concerned about, it's the same thing, uh, which I'll cover later on with uh, Dallas, but um, I'm really, um, I, I'd be concerned that D-Hop is going to be a, a decoy, <laughs> okay, so that's, a good one. that's what I'm, yeah, thank you, that's what I'm concerned about, you know. Um, no, it's, you know, it's, just, it's a good because it works on levels because it's true and it's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so, uh, so, so do you think that, uh, you know, Rondell Moore, I mean, it's, should yeah. that be the guy everybody's looking at, you know. Starting so. this week, man, is he, if he's a... Uh... If he's on the waivers, I'll probably pick him up after this episode. <laughs> oh, a rare pickup after the episode. Okay, I will okay, respect okay, the yeah. episode. I will wait. Till okay, after. and I will, nice, I will, nice. I will trust you to not pick him up if he's available. Uh, it put this way, dude. If, if I would have picked him, if I if I wanted to him to pick him up, I would have picked him up already. Yeah, the, the reason why I haven't picked him up are two reasons. One reason is because well, there's no nobody I want to drop for him. You know, but uh, also, mm, we play. We've seen this before, man. This smells like Christian Kirk. Remember, I'm at uh, you know the rookie wide receiver who's fast and you know has gotten open wide receiver two for uh, for Arizona. Yeah, but you're and forgetting you, one thing. This guy isn't Christian Kirk. Yeah, but I'm just saying that that it might not be uh, like that. Might not be the guy that we. He might not be what you think he is. How about that? Well, look, okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I, I want to move on from this, but really quickly, I just want to say the Cardinals running backs aren't as good as they used to be. With that being Correct. said, that means that Kyler Murray has to throw more to wide receivers. And we have a small sample size from his career in the NFL so far, but given the picture, it seems to me that he likes to throw to his running backs and wide receivers. Not in that order. He likes to throw to the wide receivers and the running backs, and he doesn't really give the tight ends a whole lot of love. He will from time to time, you know, maybe if they're wide open, but it's just, you know, it's not it's not what he looks to. And, yeah, I got you, man. You know, I, I think with that being said, there's there's reason to believe that there is promise of, you know, the rookie actually doing some damage this game. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, Mark Cooper said to, uh, today that he'll be good to go for Monday. He had a full practice, so... All points, uh, all signs do point for that. Yes, <laughs> this the is the one I was worried about. I think he's going to be a decoy, also. Yeah, because this is against these guys... the Giants. This is a this is a, this is a, a trap game. A trap game? Uh, I don't know, man. I think I think the uh, if memory serves, the Giants are playing against Atlanta today, sir. Who yes. Are the, mm -hmm. No, the Cowboys this are playing week. against the Eagles. The Cowboys are playing against the Eagles. Yeah, trap there game, you go. bro. Trap game. <laughs> trap game okay trap game in what what capacity for Explain. dallas real quick for dallas yeah, you think they're not the oh eagles, oh the eagles yeah looked good against the niners mm -hmm. like the, it no, I, have, you know you no, i got you i got yeah. you i i hear you i hear you. uh russell gage is out for week three due to ankle injury sustained in week two and is considered Ooh. week to week deontay johnson has been ruled out against the Bengals due to the knee injury he received last game. Now the knee jerk <laughs> reaction is to uh, go to Juju, um, but uh, as we covered in the previous episode, please don't do that. Um, I was reading that James Washington might get upticks. Do you, do you agree with that? Uh, my answer is start Chase Claypool, start mm -hmm. Juju Smith, and watch mm -hmm. Ebron catch three touchdowns and not, and, and not be started. <laughs> Nice, the great liar. That, that was McVay. my experience with the Steelers. The Steelers passing offense. Nice. Uh, Sean McVay said that the Rams will be smart today with uh, running back Darrell Henderson Jr. and expects Henderson to be a game time decision. 
Any managers of Henderson, I'm telling you right now, if you have any stock in Darrell Henderson, pivot now. He's not playing. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Sean McVay is a vampire that sucks the blood out of his running backs for his uh, success in coaching. Because it seems like just they just drop him like flies, man. Just, just. Uh, I don't know, man. I think you could probably say that more about Shanahan and forty and Forty Nine Land than you can really with. Uh, well, weren't they with, all with taught McVay. by the same guy? So that means that he's just the head vampire. Okay. Okay. It just yeah. Henderson just showed up broken. I mean, I, you know, I think he was born broken. Yeah, but yeah, just well, no, yeah, pulled something. And, you know, yeah, but yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, but uh, yeah, you're right about acres. You're right about acres, and you're right about Gurley. Henderson. You're right. You're right. I got you. I got you. And yes, Gurley, well, yeah. well, that's what this all leads back to. Because any anytime I hear Sean McVay talk about running backs, I remember him. Yeah, Todd Gurley's gonna play in the Super Bowl. Like I can't. Yep unremember that it's always like wait a minute weren't you the guy that said Todd Gurley was going to play in the Super Bowl against the Patriots <laughs> where how many was snaps he did you play? how many snaps do you play CJ Anderson <laughs> in the Super Bowl how, how many snaps did Gurley uh, play it, wasn't it single digits I think it was this is a digit dude he didn't play one he didn't play yeah. one it was CJ Anderson the nope. whole time yep he didn't play one that's right the NFL the NFL informed suspended former all, all pro Flash. wide receiver. Ha! Yes. <laughs> Josh Gordon, yes, that it is reinstating him. He could be eligible to play as early as week four, according 20? to ESPN. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see what I did there. Well, no, I didn't. We're all, we're all week four. I yelled the number 20. Josh Gordon. Oh, okay. Come on, man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Just that. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I guess maybe when you yelled, it might have, uh, you know, uh, had a small beat you window, out. like he does yeah. in terms of getting back into the NFL. Thirty years old. Thirty years old. I don't Is know many wide last receivers. Shot? You know? Does he get another? Because it's been this every year. He gets reinstated. He he says he can get reinstated. He gets reinstated. He fails the drug test. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just doesn't stop. Yeah. It doesn't stop. So. Yes, it's, it doesn't matter anything for fantasy. It's just neat news to talk about. Uh, Noah Fant and Tim Patrick practice in full and are full go for Sunday. Raiders running back Josh Jacobs will be listed as doubtful for Sunday's game versus Miami, which basically, as you, I mean, come on, he hadn't practiced all week, so he's trending towards missing his second straight game. Um, I don't know, man, if there's even a running back to start for uh, for Las Vegas. Be, I guess you'll, you should be starting. You'll have to wait and see, since we're talking about that later on in the episode. And uh, the last bit of news I have, the 49ers, they have ruled, ruled out running back Jermichael Hasty and are listing Elijah Mitchell as doubtful. Rookie running back Trey Sermon has cleared the concussion protocol and looks to be the starter for Sunday. So there we go, man. That does it for the good news. Um, you're, well, before we move on, you're, you're an Elijah Mitchell uh, manager. How are you handling the situation? Uh, I have Jamaica, Jamichael Hasty in the IR because it's free, and we have a bunch of IR slots open, so it's just like, you know, like, I've seen you make some moves like that. It's not really a big deal, but uh, I also have Mitchell, who's doubtful, who's going to go in the IR if that happens, and I dropped Sermon mm-hmm. already. Okay. Okay. All right, so you're basically going to roll with Elijah, because uh, basically, if, he, if, he's, if he's good to go, then... He's going to be the the one, so that's just the way it goes. So, yeah. All right. Just curious about that, man. Just curious about that. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk real quick, man, about uh, Panthers and Texans last night. Your Houston Texans, Connor. Uh, what was yeah, that final I'm score? A, so? I'm a real fan. It was like nine to twenty, right? Uh, twenty four. Mm-hmm. Twenty four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, Sly missed some kicks. Man, it sucked. I was rooting for him. Just one. He just missed one. It was it was an extra point. That's it. Yeah, he got he got the like that's his that's his thing. That's why he got cut. He's he's good at the long kicks, but he's inaccurate. Dude, fifty five yarder, he nails it, right? But that's he misses true. the other one. Yeah. Uh but whatever. You know, there you go. That's that's life, like you said with Joey Sly. Uh so man, who who would you say was the scuds for uh for Carolina? Probably Sam Darnold. Alright. And Oddly, because because I said to uh, I did say to uh, to cease fire on him, so you know. I yeah. Mean, 
I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't foresee like their number one running back getting knocked out of the game. No, <laughs> nobody. Game. Nobody. I didn't have throw. Nobody saw yeah. that because nobody wants to think about that even being a possibility. We want to see McCaff McCaff go hard. Uh, but I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't watch the game because I was seeing that Robbie Anderson wasn't doing anything. So I was like, I'm just gonna remove myself from this situation. Oh my god! So poorly. It bothered you that much? I did. Yeah. Well, because I, I, I really, you. I really put myself out there, and I started him in both leagues. Mm-hmm. But I was smart. Well, why wouldn't and you, I man? Didn't, I didn't put him in the flex. But why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Well, you know, I was I'm scared to I was scared to not start him and then like the week that he do really good be the week where I was like, ah, the Panthers are definitely gonna beat the Texans. It's like it would be like the ultimate fuck you. <laughs> I faked the fake. I am not in touch with my gut right now, but you know, I'm only 0 two, like you said. You were you were 0 three last year, right? Yep. I yeah. sure was. Mm-hmm. You were 0 three. Yeah. And shout out to uh, the fantasy footballers. I remember watching their show and watching Jason. I think he went like four, uh, zero and four, or like zero and five. That was in twenty eighteen, and he ended up winning that year. So like that yeah. inspired me. It was like there's always there's always hope. So you know, like like the sign says, there's always hope. Yeah, let, let just peek behind the curtain here a little bit. Uh, in the in the league that he's well, in both leagues that that um, that we're both in, but in the, this one specifically. Uh, that he's zero and two, and because the other one he's not, he's one and one, I think. One right? One, yeah. But, um, it's not yeah. good. Well, well, hang on. Uh, but the um, the thing is, is that uh, your six players get into the playoffs. Okay, so that means only four don't. Okay, so all you have to do is get into to be number six. And once you get to number six, dude, it's it's on. You know, so nobody, nobody, no matter if you're zero and two, zero and three, zero and four. You know, I mean, I think I went into a record, went in to the playoffs with like six and seven or something like that. So the point is, is that you got a lot of losses, man, that you could you can have and still make the playoffs. It, dude, it, it you're, you're fine, you're good. Just just don't stop playing. Yeah, you know, just don't stop playing. That's that's the thing, dude. It's like keep looking, dude. Keep rooting. Keep doing what you do, man. That was that's what you always do. You don't, you never give up. So, you know, just don't give up, and you'll find you'll find your way, man. I mean, through trades, through um, creative through, through uh, doing pick-ups. this, through doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah. So picking guys um, up did, on the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you just pick some people up just I'm, now? I'm picking okay. up Trey Sermon in both leagues because I'm hearing what you're saying. Yeah, I, thank I you. Wanna, I want to limit you. Zach's options at running back. Oh, yeah, he's going to need them. Yeah, he's I'm surprised he has a – look, dude, if, if nobody's picked it up yet, then, you know, I'm going to go for it, dude. You know, yeah. so, yeah. Uh, DJ Moore, 12 targets, 8 receptions, uh, 126 yeah, targets. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did. Real, I was playing against him. He was I'm a playing real cool him. cat. Wish he would have mm-hmm. done that when I owned him last year. And when I – and when I owned him, yeah, because <laughs> I am a fucker. Little... Yeah, and he never did that. For... Well, I think he did that once for me. And I you was did like, it no, when no. you were on the bench, <laughs> and when I started, yeah, you, you did diddly squat. Right, uh, Brandon Cooks, uh, eleven targets, nine receptions for Houston, one hundred twelve yards. He looked good. Davis Mills, how about that, dude? Nineteen and twenty-eight, one hundred sixty-eight passing yards and one touchdown. Dude, what's your thoughts on Mr. Mills? Man. I mean, he he did better than I thought he was gonna do, but yeah, he didn't do he didn't do <laughs> awesome. But I think the I think you know it's just the point is don't don't let this fool you into thinking that the Panthers have a smart coach. He just beat a bad team. Okay, he only scored twenty four probably... points against us. That's nothing. Ah, uh, that's, that's a, nothing. see that. It's interesting because um, I was uh, I was texting with a friend uh, Brock uh, through the um, uh, through this the game, and uh, we we're I was asking him about Chuba hey, about if he's going to pick him up, and since he plays standard, like dude, Chuba only get, gave him gave them like about one point or two points on standard. So from that point of view, you know, it doesn't look really good. You know, from um, I mean, so would you still pick up? Chub, uh, Chubba, dude. I mean, that's I'm just throwing that out there because I, mean, I know we're talking about Davis Mills, but you know, um, you, it's all kind of along the lines of what you're talking about. You know, you got to look and see what, what you're seeing with your eyes, man. You know, um, do do you think Chubba's going to be awesome, or do you think that was just uh, just the fact of it's just all hype right now? 
Depends how he does when defenses read the film on him because we all know what happens when Christian McCaffrey gets injured, the way that the Panthers yep. team runs, the backup yep. running back starts doing awesome. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's about when the defense makes their reads. So, yeah, obviously pick him up. Obviously start him if you need a running back. You know, or stash him if you want to hold on to him. But, you know, like, yeah. don't be surprised, like, if the second half of the season he starts to fall off. Or maybe not. Yeah. Like, they got yeah. lucky because Mike Davis is a physical specimen. Just like mm-hmm. Christian McCaffrey is a specimen so much that I call him McCaff McCaff. I say his last name twice because he's that awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, yeah, I think there's also a, uh, like, a, a way of... I, uh, there, there's a, I mean, you can get, put it this way. There's a lot of options you have in front of you if you pick up Hubbard. Let's just put it that way. Okay, um, but you, but we don't know what path is the right path. Nobody, know, you don't know anything right now. Uh, soccer Go piece for of it, chase no. it. Yeah. All, all I know is I don't know anything. Um, we already talked about Robbie Anderson. Don't need to rehash that. Uh, the defense, Carolina's defense. Um, they didn't do as well as I think we. I mean, they were respectable. I mean, you can't get mad at them, you know, but. It wasn't like this this incredible explosion like where everybody was expecting because of uh, Davis Mills doing so well. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Mark Ingram was a dud. Six rushes for 21 yards, one yeah, target, one reception. It. Trash yeah. is what he is. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Well, the truth came out on him, so that that's that's what basically happened. So all right. So that was any more thoughts on on that game? Say lot. Okay, then, all right, man, let's just move on. Let's go ahead and move on to the, uh, you know, to shoot or cease fire for week three. Yeah, let's yeah. do it, man. Yeah. All right. So um, you, you, want to, you want me to go ahead and lead it, or do you want to lead it, man? What do you think? Lead me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I'll start with, uh, how about, uh, we'll start with Washington team football. Okay, Washington what, what team the fuck? football. WTF. Exactly. Yes, WTF. Yes, at Buffalo. All right, it's going to be about sixty-eight this degrees. Is a spicy 15, game. Fifteen fifteen percent of uh, chance of rain and eighteen miles per hour is what the forecast is. Yeah. Well, what's ironic so, about this game is we have one team with a defense that is not doing what we expected them to do. And then there's the Buffalo Bills defense, which is looking awesome. We thought it would be the other way. We thought the Washington team football defense would be awesome, and the Bills defense would be like meh. And then here they were. We are. They were. And if if you guys remember, just a short three weeks ago in ADP, they were like the number two defense to grab. I, I got them. The, and they yeah. were a value. Where yeah. I got them. Yeah. And they still sucked. Yeah. So that should <laughs> tell you everything you need to know about defenses for fantasy. This is right. why I said stay water for so many times, and I'm mad at you for getting mad at me for stop saying it. I'm going to say it every week now like I used to, and it's going to keep me on pace to win. All right, man. You, know, you, you can say it as much as you want. Yeah, you're good. Stay you're water. Good. There you go. Yeah, say, say it all you want, dude. This is your, yo, <laughs> your show before you take a break. So have, have at it, man. Get, get it all out, whatever Thank you want. You, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I, would, I would shoot on. Terry McLaurin, yep. yes, definitely. Yep. Yeah, um, he gets the targets, and I would also I would do a little bit of Gibson. I get I would go ahead and start Gibson. Give us some Gibson. Gibson. And of course, Logan Thomas. He's a surprise. He got seven targets last week, so um, I would def you definitely would get excited about your tight end having that. So yeah, make sure and put him in your lineup. Uh, ceasefire on WTF would be for me would be J D McKissick. Um, he just seems uh, touchdown dependent and what you just said about that defense. I don't think that uh, they're going to have a lot of chances at getting those touchdowns. Um, I would definitely cease fire on the defense. And also Mr. Heineke. Um, I think he looked great um, More like against uh, the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he did fine no, against the Giants. No, Heineke. Too. There we go. That's uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so why don't you go ahead and take Buffalo, man? I will take Buffalo. Uh, I am will shoot on Josh Allen. I will shoot on Diggs. I will shoot on the Bills' defense. And I will shoot on the Bills' kicker's foot. Because that's, right, well, that's what he uses to win. All right, little, little Tyler Tyler Bass. Did you, did you see, uh, uh, Tyler did you Bass. mention Sand- Bass. Sanders? 
Yeah. No, it is bass, but I'm saying bass. I know. Yeah, so uh, uh, Sanders? No, sir. Yeah? No. I, no? I just looked at the data while we were doing this podcast, and I was wondering if I should pick him not pick him up or not, and the data shows that he sucks. He has like 13 points over two games or whatever, and I don't think that's going to change because Cole Beasley is going to stop – Manny Sanders from being what you want him to be in fantasy. Mm. I respectfully disagree. There was a lot of air yards that were missed. Uh, there was a lot of missed catches. So that's all about just timing. You know, remember Sanders missed some time in, in training camp, dude. So there's some timing issues that's good. They are going to get corrected. So I don't think you should give up on Sanders. Well, yeah. How many targets? Let me look. Okay. Yeah. He had eight targets and six targets. Wow. So he's had a good target share. But he hasn't made Jack Diddley squat with it. So okay. you really think that you really th- well? Yeah. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Well, I mean, I, I have Diggs, so you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't grab Sanders. Um, you know, the uh, maybe as a, you know, like a, an insurance thing, I guess. I don't know, but uh, yeah. the, uh, but uh, but as far as like, um, if I if I'm needing a receiver, I mean. It's, He's just like taking a shot on uh, DJ Shark. Yeah, or, or Sammy Mar- Watkins. Because exactly. I can say the same exactly. thing about Sammy Watkins. Exactly. 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 So it's just what sh- flavor you want. Ha- maybe look at the bye weeks. Maybe that'll yeah. make your decision. But you I'll know? tell so. you who it isn't. Darius Slayton. Because he, <laughs> no, he just dropped a perfect pass. I saw, the, I saw a meme video making fun of the Giants. Oh. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Who who would, who would you uh, cease fire on with the, um, with the Bills. Buffalo? Uh, mm-hmm. Probably Singletary. I mean, single carry. Yeah, and, the running uh, backs. Yeah, the running backs that aren't Josh Allen because mm-hmm. he's a running back. Mm-hmm. And um, probably Beasley. Well, it was After also Sanders' uh, argument. I think they're both going to get like eight points. <laughs> yeah, uh, WTF's defense, man, is actually good against the run, so that's one reason, another reason to stop the running backs. Yeah. The tight, yeah, and tight ends. I just don't know who which tight ends it is. All right, let's move on to. Uh, you you can put a prediction on the over under if you want, but you're not gonna be around to to uh, you know, have to teams, own up. To it. Okay. All right. Um, can I can I do them? Uh, go ahead. I have I have them up now. My app was being yeah. Burned. Okay. The okay, go for it. Chicago Bears and the Cleveland Browns are going to see who can win. An asshole of a coach and an asshole of a quarterback battle off to see who can be the grumpy white man. Wow. It'll be uh it's it's the uh, weather should be about 72, 6% chance of rain, about 16 mile per hour wind. So keep that in mind. Um right, the big news will... Justin Fields starting. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know what? You go ahead and start. Go ahead and start. Go ahead and start, dude. Yeah. You. You've already. Uh, you sound like you want to put your toe in the water. So you take Chicago. Go for it. I. What can I say, man? What can I? What can I say? I like David Montgomery. You know, I'm gonna start David Montgomery, and I'm gonna start Justin hey, Fields, man. Can I jump in there real quick? I think that um, you're going to see something incredible with David Mo- Montgomery, in my opinion. Um, there's a lot of matrix and a lot of da- data, as uh, Connor likes to say, out there talking about how a running quarterback really opens up things for the running uh, for the running back because the linebackers aren't able to uh, just focus on the running back you know, and crash down on them. They have to really kind of stay back. If you have a really good, elusive, strong running back, that bodes well for them. Okay, that's David Montgomery, an elusive, strong running David back. David Montgomery. Dude, Justin Fields is going to unlock him. No matter how idiotic and dumb Matt Nagy is, um, I really think that uh, David Montgomery is really going to have a heck of a game. This, this uh, Well, as long as Justin Fields is the quarterback. So just throw that out there, man. Please continue. Sorry, brother. That's it for the Bears pretty much. I'm sorry. Did you say Obviously, Robinson? Obviously, we're starting Robinson. Obviously. Okay, okay. That's set, okay. That's what if, set it forget it shit, but I don't own him, so I don't care. Okay, what What about the defense? Ooh, no, I'm not starting them. I'm starting the Ravens defense over them and the Panthers defense over them. They're a good okay. start, but there's just better options, and they seem like the kind of team that would give up a lot of t- points to Nick Chubb for stupid reasons. But, well, they're good against the run. Chicago, that's one thing they are good against is the run. You know, so uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's... But their defense is getting kind of older. 
I guess I guess I could see them winning them losing by Baker Mayfield, but I don't know. I, yeah. I, I, okay. I, would you start okay, Baker so... Mayfield in this game? Oh no. Uh-uh. Yeah. Would you start no. o, Would you start Odell? Uh yes yes because there's nobody else. There's nobody else. There's nobody else. Yeah, I'm mean, at. Uh, I don't. It's not an O decoy. Well, no, because who? I mean, who's going to decoy away from man? You know, if it wasn't uh, like the the tight ends. I mean, you just don't know who they're going to throw so to. So what this so means guys. is uh, start and Joku, start Nick Chubb, and start Kareem no. Hunt. I wouldn't start. I wouldn't start the uh, Hooper or or Njoku, mainly because you just don't know who it's going to be. <laughs> Njoku, um, who? Yeah. yeah, but I, I mean, but yeah, but I, I respect, I respect your, your, your thoughts, dude. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you want to go for it, I wouldn't, but I mean, there's definitely a path uh, of what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I think, mm-hmm. uh, who knows? But uh, the important thing is, the Bears will probably make a blunder, but David Montgomery will be awesome. Yeah, you start, uh, you start Nick Chubb, start uh, Kareem Hunt, like I said, OBJ, uh, shoot on them, and cease fire on Cleveland's defense, the tight ends, in my opinion, but Connor would say shoot on them, so whatever way you go. Um, it, that's how much up in the air it is, you know, either one of them's right, and then of course the kicker, Darnell Mooney, Darnell Mooney, I would cease fire on him, uh, yeah, because I think that uh, he's more of a, of a, uh, I, I think they're going to have to get chemistry between Fields and uh, Mooney before the, he's going to start really producing. All right, why don't you uh, move on to the next one? The Baltimore Ravens and the Detroit Lions battle it out. Who can handle the cold weather? Is it the jaded Midwesterners or the authoritative East Coasters? We shall see. You do know they're playing in a dome, right? I'm talking about the people, Ryan, not the... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude, I'm just saying. <laughs> you said cold weather, I mean, like... I said cold you know, weather like... people. Okay, all Because right. they're both okay. from cold climates. I'm, I've lived in Houston my whole life. You have to think how I I think of the geography of this place. Is like I see the teams oh, and I'm cold. like, these teams play in cold weather. You know, but then I yeah. see... You know, like our team, it's like we're a hot weather team. It's, it's, it's a yeah. different battle. Yeah, well, it, basically, it's if it snows here in Houston, everything shuts down. If it snows in Detroit or in Baltimore, then it's just Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> okay, you know, so, yeah. Speaking of Tuesday, okay. uh, it's just Tuesday for Lamar Jackson, who uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm shooting all over him. I'm shooting on all him right. as a, as a passer and a rusher because he's he's leading the team with two touchdowns in each category through two games, two, two, two. And Marquise Brown has caught two touchdowns so far. Are you starting him this game? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Dude, it's against Detroit's defense. You start uh, him, you start Andrews. You know, you uh, you you, know, you start um, Tyrell, uh, Tyson, sorry, Tyson Williams. Tyson. Not Tyrell Williams. Tyrell Williams is, is in the IR. Don't, don't start him. Yeah, but uh, Tyson Williams, yeah. I mean, I think he's going to have a great game. You know, everybody else in the world thinks that, so... He probably won't now, but um, the defense, of course, you would you would like uh, like you were talking about earlier. You are starting them, so I back that decision. And of course, Tucker, they're playing in a dome. You know, the kickers usually do well there. You know, um, the uh, but would you cease fire, Connor, on Murray and Freeman? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Same here. I think Ty- uh, Tyson Williams is the guy you want to start. Yeah. Unless a barring injury from, you know, going forward, that's kind of the running back you want to do. Um, Detroit, uh, TJ, would you, you know, would you agree with that, TJ Hawkinson, Connor? Yeah, I would start TJ Hawkinson then. All right, who else? I would probably sit Aaron, I would probably sit Jared Goff, but I would probably yep. start, uh, uh, I would start Jamal Williams. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, I mean, he didn't. He was pretty disappointing in the revenge game, you know. You're so. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah you're yeah. right. You're right. Well, maybe I would start. Is DeAndre Swift healthy? Yeah, I would. I'm at as far as we know. But that's that's a good that that. How about that? That's a good right there. That's a line. If DeAndre Swift is healthy, start him. If he's not healthy, start Jamal. Right? Yeah, I would agree with that. Don't yeah. don't start Jamal if, there, if Swift is is healthy. Right? Yeah. There you is go. Anyone we're missing? Quintez. What do you think about Quintez Cephas? 
That's that's the guy from uh, he's he's on the Lions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the he's wide, wide receiver, receiver that's like leading the team in targets right now. Yep. I think, yeah, I was yep. reading about him. His name is funny. Yeah. It is. It is. Quintez. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. It reminds me of Hank Williams Jr. He's called Bo Cephas. Bo Cephas. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it's. Yeah, that's what he's called. So yeah, we need Bo a. Cephas, you need a, so. We need a, a Hank Williams Jr. song to play. Uh, uh, if he becomes something. Hank. Cancel culture doesn't really like Hank. Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah. True. Well, I don't listen to his yeah. music, so I don't. I don't even think about that. I, you know what? I I'm unashamed. I I do. Love oh Hank yeah, Williams I remember. Jr. I remember your story. Yeah. Okay. Never. Never mind. Um. I, I would, I I would not. Be, I would not start. I would not start, Cephas, or whatever. Okay. Bo, Bo Cephas. Bo Cephas. Yeah. Um. I, I'm just gonna. I just wanted to say this, dude, because I thought it was interesting. Um. The kicker for uh, Detroit. His name is Austin Siebert. He's on COVID. He's replaced by a guy uh, named like Ryan Santoso, something like that. Uh. Who um. Who recently went two for two and missed a, a extra point with the Panthers. And the reason why I wanted to bring that up is that. Um. The one thing that Connor always talks about is that if you have a kicker that misses extra points, you don't want to, you don't want that kicker. Keep missing field goals from time to time is fine, but extra points, no, nope, move on to to a different kicker. Agree? Yeah. All right, then let's move on to the next game. The Indianapolis Colts, who suck balls, are playing against the Tennessee Titans, who have Derrick Henry. And it's going to be an awesome game. And Derrick Henry is going to carry my team to victory. At Tennessee, uh, so it's going to be about 79. You might be right. but it's, it's And Carson it's going Wentz is going to be closer to starting, which is terrible for the Colts. Yeah. Um, 8% chance of rain and 4 miles per hour of wind. So it actually sounds like it's conducive for passing. He's um, probably going to turn the ball over. And then he's going to get hurt. And then, like... Henry's just going to go off. Who, Tannehill? You're saying Tannehill's going to get hurt? No, Wentz is. And then, like, the oh, Colts Wentz. are just going to have no momentum. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's start there, then. You said uh, Derek Henry. Uh, who else would you would you shoot on? Um, I would shoot on... I would shoot on Tannehill. And I would shoot on... Um, I would shoot on AJ Brown because I'm I'm guessing that you know Tannehill wants to get him involved now since he's had a little bit of Julio, you know. Yep. Yep. And what about Julio? I might have to start him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, th- those are guys. Um, what anybody else you would, or would we just sit like everybody else? Defense, yeah. kicker, tight end, all uh, that. Okay. I, no, I would start the Titans defense this game. Oh, oh, okay. Um, the uh, but I would not name? start. His, uh, I'm not saying this to insult him. I'm saying this because this is the internet's nickname for him. I would not start okay. Fat Randy. Uh, I would not start <laughs> Randy Bullock. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. Why, why do you have to apologize for that, man? Yeah. I just want to be out there for any other overweight person named Randy that might be watching. This is just. <laughs> This is just a thing that happens. I'm I'm not the originator of it. You have to go track that person down. I think that started back in A and M, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 been with him for a very long time. It's been um, with him figuratively, and it's been with him literally in terms of the beer belly that has never left. One thing I wanted to, I wanted to ask you real quick. Hey, that was that, good. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. One thing I wanted to ask you, though, okay, is that one um, a hot name, uh, like a like a sleep sleeper tight end was Anthony Ferkser. No. Right? My well, answer on, is no, on. I'm not going to start him. Well, hang Let me finish, dude. Let me finish, I... okay? Seriously. So, let me finish. Let me finish. The dude is out, okay? The reason why he was, like, so cut was because uh, Geoff Swaim was cutting into him and was actually getting all the passes. Yeah. Ferkser is gone now. All right, so he's out for the game right now. Okay, so would Geoff Swain be the guy? I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not gonna start Swain. He could be the guy, but I'm not banking on a team. This first option is running the ball, and their second option is a play action deep pass to the wide receiver. I'm not banking on their tight end coming through. Like Johnu Smith did really well, man. Look, bro, he did really good for a little while, but he's a physical specimen, bro. 
and then he started right. he started right. not being healthy. Right. They're gonna right. they're gonna look the Titans. Right. They're going through. I think they're going through a thing right now because they have a new offensive coordinator and like okay. last you know they're 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 trying to find their identity. Gotcha. All right, so uh, Indianapolis man, um, Jake Taylor, uh, Jonathan Taylor Jay man, Trey. I would go ahead. Yep. Yes, I would definitely uh, start him. Uh, Naeem Hines, but only in the flex. But in the flex. flex. Hey, um, I think that if Carson Wentz plays, um, uh, Pittman might actually be in play, but that's only that. Um, the uh, kicker, you know, Rodrigo. I like Rodrigo, so yeah, I would me go too. ahead. Yeah, I'd start him. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I agree with you on the defenses. Um, yeah, well, the defense, I would, I would sit the defense on Indianapolis. The one at Tennessee, dude, it makes me a little nervy, but uh, you have more nerves to steal than I do. Um, so I would go ahead. Yeah, I would go ahead and, uh, you know, but but uh, um, Connor says to go ahead and start him. So he's the gut. So, you know, you, you, I, I wouldn't, but I would think there's another thing. Another, oh, actually, not. I would start Indiana's defense only because of what Arizona did to Tennessee's no. defense. Or, or, t- t- or Tennessee's offense. They tore him up. Okay, so I, you know, Indianapolis might have actually have a good game, you know. So I don't know, but uh, anything, any more thoughts on that? Nah, man. No. No, no. Did you not hear me? I said, I said, nah. No, no, no. I didn't hear anything. Okay, well, let's move on. The Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs are battling it out in the AFC West matchup. One team that has a lot of promise and could really be something someday. And then the Los Angeles Chargers, a team that gets mogged any time they play at home. It's at Chiefs, okay, so it's at, it's at Kansas City. It wouldn't um, matter. Either way, the Kansas City Chiefs would be at home. Yeah, They'd have the yeah. crowd noise advantage in the stadium. Uh, but it's going to be about 90, zero chance of rain, but about 15 to 25 mile an hour per winds. But that doesn't matter for any of these quarterbacks. Um Chargers, man. Uh, Justin Herbert. I would go. And, I would shoot on him. Austin Eckler, uh, because of how the Chiefs are against the run. Uh, Keenan Allen, um, and then also uh, Mike Williams and Jared Cooks. I just think it's going to be a shootout. I think that you, that you need to start all <laughs> is those. This weapons. the shootout of the week. Yeah. It is. Yeah, and uh, I could be. I don't know. Uh, as, we'll, we'll, as we go, I guess we'll figure it out. It's um, looking like it could be. I'm not seeing any. There's. This is one other game that it could be. Winning. Yeah. Um, then uh, I would go ahead and cease fire as far as the Chargers go on the defense and on the kicker. What do you think on uh, as far as uh, Kansas City, Connor? We know which three guys we're starting no matter what. And if yep. you don't know those, come on. Um, yeah. I'm not starting Candy Bone. I'm starting the kicker. I'm not starting the defense. Fuck me, Cole Hardman. That's. Did you mean to say it like that? <laughs> what do you mean? You just said like you just said. Fuck me, Cole Hartman. That's what you just said. Uh, yeah, it was a play on words. Okay, okay, okay. I agree with you, everything you just said. All right, yeah, because this one's a really easy. If that you're was listening, really easy Cole one. Hardman, you have the green light from both me and Brian. On this. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> this was all no, a long time to, yeah. to get you in on this. I was quote, no, no, I was quoting him, fuck, man. Fuck no, Nico no. Hardman. I'm not starting him. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I'm starting but I agree the Chargers with kicker. All... Yeah, uh, Bucker. Yeah. Uh, but I agree with uh, oh, Hilaire. the Chargers, not right. the Chiefs. Uh, yes, that's correct. Yeah, uh, exactly right. Um, yes. Um, sit the defense and the kicker for the Chargers. Um, start the, de- start the uh, kicker for the Kansas City and sit the defense for kansas city mm-hmm. all right let's move on to the next one my brother and i'm just gonna like always for old time's sake we are taking the over in this game with the chiefs <laughs> as right, per my rule uh Classic. speaking of rules the saints voldemort are going to be playing the patriots yeah, that's the last one yeah. anymore i have a game manager now i have a chance yeah. of winning <laughs> This one's easy for me, dude. I'm the greatest the... warlock in the NFL. I work yeah. hard. I cast a spell. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's going to be about... It's in New England. It's going to be about 75%, 24% chance of rain. 
10 to 15 mile per hour winds. I think this is a really easy one to call on both. Tell me if you agree. You would go ahead and shoot on Alvin Kamara and uh, the defense. I would for New Orleans. Yeah. And then, and then for New England, and Cam I would. Newton. Sh- I'm joking. And on New England, I would shoot on Damian Harris and also the defense for New England. And I would sit everybody else. Yep. So oh, running back and defense on both teams. Moving on. <laughs> it's that Speaking easy. of teams it's that, that are moving on, the Atlanta Falcons and the New York Giants, two teams in different stages of realizing they have no talent and needing to give up. Right. One more thing I, want, I wanted to point out, though, just to make sure, just to say this, that um, last week I said to uh, cease fire on Corey Davis because Vilicek takes out the number one uh, offensive weapon for whatever team that they're playing against. And, of course, Kamara absolutely is that weapon. Um, I just don't think that he's he, they're going to be able to stop Kamara because Kamara is just an athletic he's freak. Kamara. Yeah, exactly right. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure and, and clarify as to why I'm supporting Kamara and I didn't support Davis uh, last week. Right okay, um, yeah, this is going to be in New York, New York City. Uh, it's going to be 73 degrees, 4% chance of rain, 10 New to 15 York. mile per hour wind. All right, so this was a little bit more, a little bit more involved. Uh, why don't you get us started, uh, Connor, real quick? Yeah, I mean, a little Falcons. Besides Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley, I don't know. Look, I know what everyone's want to talk about. Everyone wants to know what we think about the baby giraffe. And I'll tell you this. I thought about it because I had him for a little bit and then I dropped him. Because I was like, wait a minute. Who are you? It's like, he's not that good. It's the reason, the reason why he does good is because coaches count him out and they don't respect him because he's kind of a big body. You just got to you just got to double team him. He's not fast. He's not elusive. You just have to have more than one person at a time tackle him. It's not hard. <laughs> and whenever teams well, figure that out, he's going to stop doing good. Okay. Um you know, I I would respectfully uh disagree, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like I like Patterson, uh, especially in um, in the Freedom League, because uh, he in that league you also get points for returns, and he's a he's a pretty talented return guy. Okay, so yeah, he's got, but that's that's an extenuating circumstance. Most people he's, don't he's got, that. He's got that going. Uh, well, I don't know, man. He had seven rush attempts. Okay, that he's done that for both uh, both both weeks, but this past week he got seven targets. All right, and he also got a receiving touchdown. So, and he also got a rushing touchdown. So, you're talking about a, a wide receiver and a running back for a team uh, that is looking for a running back. And I just read, uh, I think it was yesterday, that the head coach came out and said that they're going to be splitting with Davis 60-40. You know, so um, he's creeping up, man. He's creeping up. I, I, I would, I would go ahead and play him in this in this game mainly because they're going to be. I think they're going to be coming from behind they're going to be needing to pass a lot you think I just they're going think to use good. a more negative games in game script yeah absolutely so i think calvin really is a good spot I, I love that pick uh same thing with kyle pitts uh patterson that's the one i'm just a little bit you know uh but yeah and then a and young way uh coups i would go ahead and uh and, and shoot on i would not i would definitely cease fire on mike davis um and also just remember russell gage is out so don't even think about him uh, New York, man. New York. Where would you go with uh, New York? Nobody. I'm joking. I would start Sterling Shepard. Okay. I would. I would. Um, I I'd start would start Daniel on... Jones this game. Mm hmm. Uh-huh. And Saquon. I would, I would definitely shoot on Saquon. I think this is going to be the game where Saquon uh, makes the people that picked high on him. Uh, really happy. I think he's going to do really well because he's playing against Atlanta. So I think it's going to be just a perfect uh, setup for him. Um, and uh, also Graham Gano, the kicker. I re- um, one thing I realized uh, when I started researching him is he's hit 35 straight uh, field goals in a row. And uh, it reminds me a lot of Jason Sanders last year. It's like a, a really good kicker, but kind of on a questionable offense that might be taking off. You know, so I like I like Graham Gano, especially against Atlanta. Um, and, of course, the there's no chance of rain or anything like that. He can deal with 50-mile-an-hour 50, 50 winds if that's what it is. 
Here's here's something going against the grain. Uh, a lot of people are are uh, shooting on uh, Galladay. I am not. I think that you should go ahead and cease fire on him. And also Evan Ingram might be playing, so I would go ahead and cease fire on him. And of course the defense. Anything else that you want to go and talk about in that game, Conor? Say la. Okay, let's move on then, Brown brother. Speaking of say lying, the Cincinnati Bengals are going to play against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, I'm going to remind you, Ben Roethlisberger allegedly raped two women. This game is going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to start with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, obviously, I'm shooting on Joe Mixon. I'm shooting on Joe <laughs> Burrow. And... You know what? I'm going to shoot on both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase in this matchup. <laughs> T. Higgins is doubtful. I I'm going to shoot on just Jamar Chase. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the update, Brian. Back to you, sir. Who would you start on the Steelers? Uh, Najee. You know, you're always starting Najee. Najee. You're always starting. You got to remember that. Stiff arm he got there. Yes, yes. And so basically, he's a rookie running back so he's got it he's got to get a feel for the game looks like he is i think he's going to be fine chase claypool i like chase claypool a I lot like too um we and we caught we talked about the um about deontay going down so um the defense i would go ahead and and uh, shoot on the defense pittsburgh defense even though they're missing um I, they're missing two uh, a linebacker and a defensive end oh and that's TJ huge Watt, yeah, and T.J. Watt is also uh, questionable, uh, but he he'll probably play since he did he had limited practices each um, the throughout the week. Um, so we'll see what ha- what happens there. But I would still go ahead and um, and and start them because I just don't know if if you're going to get much more than anything that you'll find in the pool. You know, you'll you'll get somewhere close to. This. They're not going to give you negative numbers, and that's what you're shooting for anyway. Um, I would cease fire on Juju. Yeah, um, Connor laid it out really well last episode about why you should just not uh, trust Juju. Um, and then the kicker, of course, the tight ends, especially Eric Ebron and Big Ben, I would go ahead and uh, cease fire on those guys. Yes, Sound sir. about right? Yes, sir. When, you know, Connor, we're going to have to get to a point now where we're going to have to start co- stop calling him Big Ben. I mean, like the way he's throwing, the way he's moving. I mean, we should, he's just Ben. <laughs> Old Ben. <laughs> Uncle Ben. We'll call him Uncle Ben. <laughs> There we go. A I'm good trying old, to a think good of something effect. better that suits my my view. I'll b- back to you on that. Back to you on that. Good uh, old Uncle Ben. Speaking uh, of grab ass in the shower, the Arizona Cardinals are coming to play a little grab ass in the shower with the 0-2 Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, jeez. Really? That's a joke. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, I am gonna be about- never going to forget that. It's that was in one that, of my it's in... favorite moments ever of Shoot the Gap was that discussion about <laughs> Urban Meyer having grab ass in the shower with every <laughs> running back except for James Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. that image. Yeah, well, dude, it, it happened. Okay, yeah, that's why it's Very doing. obviously, ha- allegedly. Very yeah. obviously, ha- I can definitely confirm allegedly that it happened. Hey, dude, look, the next game, now they're just... just using james robinson more you know so it's the game of, of grab ass stopped you know somebody slipped in the shower somebody got mad you know things happen uh jacksonville that's gonna be 86 5 percent chance of rain 8 to 10 miles per hour in other words a beautiful day to play football uh arizona i would shoot on kyle murray of course kyler murray kyler murray yeah rondell moore of course um dude i can't quit him if d hop is out there you gotta start him no matter if you know about yeah, if you think it's gonna be a decoy, this. if if he's out, if he, dude, man, you gave me shit for starting. I'm 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 joking. I'm just saying, dude. I mean, like, look where you drafted him, okay? Which and the, the fact that he's D hop, so he's a real tough guy. You know, he's gonna be wearing a flak jacket. He's very competitive, so I just don't see how he would um, he would not want to play and produce. Now, the only thing I would Nukles. say that should be that you that I would warn any managers of D Hop to is that just the fact of Arizona is probably going to get um, ahead really fast, really. Yeah, really I was quickly thinking off. about this could be the game that James Conner go off on. Yes, you're right. It's going to probably be more of a running game. So, and if anything, they're going to take D Hop out or limit his snaps to keep him healthy for like a real competitor. You know, so um, I it might be. 
Do, you know what? Let's go all balls. Let's go all balls with it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say cease fire on, on D-Hop. Oh, it hurts to say it because he's the reason why I stopped being a Texas fan when they traded him. Because I love D-Hop. But, um, yeah, that was he, when he stopped. Mm-hmm. I love D-Hop. I really, really love D-Hop. I mean, I think he's a great, great player. Um, but, uh, dang, dang. What would you do, Connor? No, I'm I'm starting D Hop. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit D Hop. Yeah, but all signs point. All signs point. But whatever. Let's uh, let's and Scott, on. Uh, so yeah, if there he's, we go. If, look, if he's out, I'm gonna play someone else. But if he's if, it, you know. Well, I, I I will say that that it, that if he's out, um, I would go ahead and start Christian Kirk. If he's if he's active, I would not start Christian Kirk. Um, the uh, Chase Edmonds, of course, and, and Connor. Uh, Connor, just like Connor said, start Connor. Yeah, uh, Jacksonville. Uh, and oh, I would definitely. This is something I importantly need to say. Uh, cease fire on the kicker, uh, Matt Prater, for Arizona. I know you, it's exciting and you think so, but uh, last year we learned that um, Kyler Murray doesn't like to uh, give up on the fourth down. He always likes to try to go for it. So the chances for a kicker. It's not very high, so just keep that in mind. Even though it looks like a juicy matchup, and he does, yeah, he doesn't like to settle for field goals. Period, or extra points right. sometimes. There you go. See, that's the whole point. There you go. Thank you, Connor. Jacksonville. Is there anybody that you're interested in? Say la. I disagree. I would go ahead and shoot on James Robinson and Mar- Marvin Jones Jr. Um, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm a believer in James Robinson. I always will be. To the I point of trading it, him. Because you believe yeah. in him so much that you want to see another team succeed with him. For Kamara. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm fucking with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But in the other league, I still have him. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. It's um, a good but, trade. But the, yeah, because uh, they're, they're both like you're going to have to wait on him. But I'm a believer in James Robinson. I, I've already showed it's already his touches has already like increased. I don't think pretty much almost doubled since uh, week one. Maybe Urban Meyer's figuring out like, okay, yeah, this is the guy we should go with. He is absolutely the pass catching back and they're gonna be playing from behind. So that's why I like James Robinson, uh, Marvin Jones Jr. because he's um, Lawrence's uh, favorite guy and everybody else I would cease fire on. You agree? Yes, sir. All right, let's move, let's move, let's move on to the next one. Ah! So we are going to have the Jets and the Broncos, and these are, man, I can't, you know, the Broncos are 2-0, and bro. Uh, is, is Teddy B the quarterback for John Elway? Are they going to come back to that Peyton Manning form? They reloaded on the stud wide receivers, and they still have an okay defense. Do they have what it takes? Hmm. It's going to be 88 uh, 0% chance of rain, 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. Beautiful day in lovely God's country, Colorado. You want to take your um, team, Brian? Yes, I'll talk about I'll talk about Denver because on uh, regarding the Jets, I couldn't care less that they're struggling. Okay, so I would definitely uh, shoot on Cortland Sutton and uh, Noah Fant. Uh, the defense, of course, and McManus. Absolutely, I would definitely go with McManus right McManus, now. McManus, as I like to nickname uh, him. Yeah, I, I, it's interesting because I, it, bold, bold, a bold, my boldness, the bold part of me would say, go with Javante Williams. That's who you, that's who you start. You know, that's the one you shoot on. And then you would cease fire on Melvin Gordon. But I'm thinking you could probably do both against this New York Jets. I mean, you saw what Damian Harris did to, uh, to the Jets. So their run defense is questionable. So, um, but I do like Williams a little bit better than Gordon. Um, I would definitely cease fire on Tim Patrick and KJ Hamler. It's a sudden show, man. Yeah. And speaking of shit shows, uh, the Jets. Sutton. Sutton show. Sutton show. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm not starting any of the Jets, man. Corey Davis. I'm a believer in Corey Davis. Um, Denver showed that uh, if you look at uh, week one about what um, Sterling Shepard did to them, he scored really high. Um, in week two, uh, you know Marvin what? Jones Jr. scored can really I, high. Can I answer a, a, a data uh, yeah. stat line with a data stat line? Uh, cool. The Broncos have a good pass rush. The Jets have yes. a bad line and... 
Zach Wilson is seeing ghosts in special underwear. So did he say that? Did he say that? That's that's a reference to Sam Darnold on the jet saying yeah. he saw ghosts. Yeah. And yeah, I'm throwing in okay. the facts that he went to BYU. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Thank Any, you for explaining that to me. Yes, sir. I, I, it went over your head. I wanted to make sure you felt mm-hmm. included. Uh, speaking of people Thank who you. want to feel included, the Jets are not going to be included on the list of people that I have starting players on. I'm not starting Zach Wilson. Okay. I'm not starting Corey Davis. I'm not starting any of the receivers, and I'm not starting any of the running backs or the Jets' defense or the Jets' kicker. All right. Um, I I would only I I would only shoot on uh, Corey Davis. I'm a big believer in that guy. I, I would um, shoot on him other games, just not not this game. This this ain't okay. his game. This ain't his game. Opinion, okay. In my opinion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It all signs point to point to no, but I, I understand. Let's move on. The Miami Dolphins, who, let's face it, they're already in shit show mode. Are uh, they're playing the Las Vegas Raiders, who are who are two and zero. Hey, man. They're going to go 3-0. and The Raiders are going to win. They're going to make it look easy, and they're going to make it look good. Derek Carr is going to have a great day. He's going to be awesome. Yeah, this was real easy for me. Don't, don't, uh, I'm not shooting on anybody in Miami. And then uh, for uh, Las Vegas, it's only David Carr, uh, Waller, uh, the defense, and Carlson. And I mean, you just don't know who wide receiver it's going to pop. If it's going to be Ruggs, it's going to be Edwards. You know, and then of course Drake and Barber are kind of like they're they're eat, they're they're eating into each other, and um, Jacob is doubtful, so that's going to be just like last week. So, yeah, I would just um, yeah, just basically Carl Waller, the D, uh, Vegas defense, and Carlson because Jacoby Brissett. I mean, I think the defense is going to do a great job on them, and they're playing in Las Vegas, so it's a dome. So yeah, good thing to keep in mind. All right, move on to the next one. Yes, sir. The Buccaneers and the Rams. Ironically enough, I was I was kind of bored talking about the Dolphins Raiders game, and I started looking at the Bucks Rams game, which is ironic because it was the next game. And this is what I think could be the shootout of the week, if it's not the Chargers Chiefs game, which we talked about earlier. Uh, the dark horse candidate for uh, shootout of the week actually could also be the Ravens and the Lions. Funnily enough, but um say law on that for the bucks you know antonio brown he has covid and uh for that reason he's probably not playing this week i have him in my ir slot right now that means you're definitely shooting on chris godwin and mike evans and uh brian would you shoot mm-hmm. on any of the running backs for the bucks no absolutely yeah, not me stay away me neither. yeah stay you, away. You, yeah yeah and, or or ryan suck up the kicker and tom um, it's brady be... of course is set it and forget it at this point yeah and gronk same thing with gronk same thing with um uh, how about the defense Tampa bay's defense Ooh, against, i don't know uh, about Rams. this game pal i don't know about this game they I... looked good last week and i mean i'm, I'm a little worried about stafford because because the the hand mm-hmm. do you oh. think i have reason to be worried what well, uh well, inform everybody what's going on with the hand. Oh yeah, well for those those who saw the game last week, uh, we all we we all saw uh, Matthew Stafford grip his hand at one point mm-hmm. during the game, and he looked like he may have banged it up. Uh, I know there was you know Stafford's always he's always getting injured and playing through shit, <laughs> so it's not it's not like I'm worried that like he's not going to start. It's just like you know is he is he a little banged up? Because if he's a little banged up, he's not going to play as well. I think you're gonna be fine, dude. He's he's having a week to to rest it. You know he'll be fine. Um, you know uh, Cooper Cup. You know it's second in receiving yards uh, so far this year. So of course you go ahead and start and shoot on him. Robert Woods, same thing. Tyler Higby. I think he's gonna have a great game. Marvin uh, Marvin Gaye. No Matt Gay. Yeah, and um, only in a pinch. Only in a pinch would I would I uh, start Michelle. If not, dude, I'd really like to start somebody over him. You know, so uh, because it's just that Tampa Bay defense, dude, it's just difficult to run against. And they're going to be playing. Um, it's just always a shootout with Brady when Brady's involved. So that's why I started all the uh, all the weapons, the receiving weapons there. Um, the defense, both defenses, I would cease fire on. Yeah, so that's about where I'm at on that game. How about you, my brother? You good to move on? I'm good to move on. All right. The Seattle Seahawks and the Minnesota Vikings are battling it off in the NFC Supremacy for third place in the 
you know, division because that's what they are at this point. The dome, yeah, it's a dome. So that's nice. Dome. Uh, it's in Minnesota. And Minnesota. you know the Vikings are owned too, so they they really need to win a win a fucking game for once. Uh, I'll I'll speak in a win a fucking game for once. Vikings. I'll I'll do the Vikings. You know what? No, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you have Dalvin Cook, so you you take the Vikings. And I have just Justin Jefferson. Okay, yep. so I'll yeah. So I would go ahead. And I would start uh, Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson. Um, if Dalvin Cook is is playing, of course, start him. If not, then go ahead and sit him. Either which way, I would go ahead and shoot on Adam Thielen and KJ Osborne. Uh, one thing I want, I, I would cease fire on the kicker and also the defense because I think it's going to be a shootout. One thing I was reading uh, regarding uh, Cook because, like you said, I, I'm, I manage him so. I'm reading everything I can on on his injury, and um, again, last last week, everybody's uh, or last episode, we talked about Alex uh, Alexander Madison. We're talking about waiver wire stuff, and uh, I was saying like, stay away from it, stay away from, it, stay away from it. Um, Alexander Madison, uh, do not pick that guy up because he is not the handcuff to Dalvin Cook, because they already said that if Alex, if Cook is out, it's gonna be Alexander Madison, Amir Abdullah. And then the, if Cook is out, they're going to be um, calling up A.J. Rose from the practice squad. So that sounds like a running back by committee. What they do, everybody, is that they don't go to – they don't just put somebody in like uh, Carolina does. They go running back committee, and they pass more. So that means it would be an uptick to Jefferson, Thielen, and Osborne. For real, for real. Yeah. So take, go ahead and take Seattle, man. Yeah, bro. Obviously, we're starting Lockett and Metcalf and Russell Wilson and Chris Carson until he gets injured, which is going to happen. And that's about it on that. I mean, we're not really starting the – would you start the defense? No, absolutely not. Um, I just wanted to state that Lockett is third in receiving yards right now. Yep. Yeah, so he's he's, he's having – touchdowns, so he's not – Yeah. I'm not too upset about passing on him um, because his history shows that he starts fast, and then as the year goes on, he just kind of peters out. So, you know, I'm I'm not too I'm not too like ticking myself too hard for passing on him. But whoever got him, man, he's he they're really tearing up the league. Yeah, that's the champ, man. Mm -hmm, Mhm, mhm, mhm. Yeah, he tore into me last week. Yeah, I think I got the biggest blowout last week in in that league. Yeah, because of yeah, well, because that (laughs) hill. Yeah, he'll give me four points, didn't help. Yeah, um, let's move on to the next game. Yeah, bro, um, is this, uh, yeah, this is the last game of the week. Um, no, I'm sorry, the second last game of the week. Yep. Uh, there you the go. Preview of the NFC Division Final. Uh, the Green, possibly, and past, the, the Green Bay Packers and the 49ers who are finally undefeated for the first time in a long time even though it's just two games it's felt like forever since they could fucking say that <laughs> nice yeah it's in san francisco here's what's weird dude it's it's in it's the evening game right it's this is ridiculous. a revenge game because aaron <laughs> Rodgers wanted to go to the 49ers so this is a this qualifies as a revenge game so of course aaron Rodgers is gonna have a good game it's forecast to be like 54 degrees. So it's gonna he be likes cold. the cold. Yeah, 19% chance of rain, 10 to 20 mile per hour wind. So yeah, uh, like you said, Green Bay. I um, it's Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, uh, Tanya. Fuck Aaron Devontae Jones, Adam. man. <laughs> You're just mad. Uh, he he did he does really well. Um, he does, yeah, but he, fuck him. He's gonna suck this game now that he's not playing me. Just watch. Okay. Uh, head coach said that they wanted to get the ball to Randall Cobb more, so maybe you could put him in the flex. It's going to be the yeah. Randall Cobb game. I would cease fire on A.J. Dillon, the defense, and Mason Crosby. I would start um, the handsome man himself, Jimmy Garoppolo. Ah, that's, a, that's a hot take. That's I hot would take. start okay. Debo Samuel. First in receiving yards. Uh, do we need to talk about if we're starting Kittle or not? Smoke nah, him if you nah. got him. Yeah, kid on the of course sermon. Him, boys and girls. And sermon, yeah, start sermon. Yup. And um, what about the D or the kicker for either team? Uh, no, neither for either. And also, uh, neither I would for either. See, I would see fire on Brandon Ayuk. More like I puke. Speaking mm-hmm. of moving on from puking. Yep. The Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas We Suck Cowboys. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just what it 
That's what it says on the script. Brian Brian writes the script. Brian sends this to me beforehand. It says I, that the I Cowboys no suck script. balls. I, I'm just reading the script. The one and one Dallas no Cowboys. <laughs> Jeez, dude. You know, man, you really need to get up with your commandments, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, right. it's it's uh it's not it doesn't count if it's a white lie. It's a, it was is a blank is a blank area when it came to uh there's, there's no color there's no color comedy. to lies man a lies okay. lies lies could... lies yeah hey and you lied you. saying that your trade was a fair trade so we're at an impasse it is. It no is. it's not it speaking is. of speaking it no it's not it's it's if you had if you had kamara and Tommy Jones, the stripper, Jr., would you trade that for Cortland Sutton and James Robinson, gun to balls? If I was in a situation like, like no, the... and you're in your situation in which you're Brian Baldwin, you're you're mm. not her. You don't think what she thinks. You're you. Well, that's the thing. I, I can't I can't say I can't say anything because it's it wasn't I it the parameters are completely flipped. You know, because I sh um, the owner was, uh, or the the manager was just looking at numbers, and the whole thing is, dude, is that um, Kamara might not be what you think he is. That offense is in shambles. Okay, it really is, dude. J Jameis Winston is Jameis Winston. He's running around trying to be the king, screwing everything up. You know, he's not really passing to Kamara. He's trying to go for the big bombs and trying to go for the weedy boxes. Okay, you know, so that's the problem. Is that Winston is the is the um, is the quarterback? So okay, you do a quarterback change. Well, guess what? You got Mr. Gadget Man now as the as the quarterback. So now you got that guy stealing Kamara's um, touchdowns. I'm telling you, dude, it's it really is a fair trade. Okay, I understand that that you know we we, we said that Kamara was going to be a running back one and a wide receiver one, and it's true, but it's for a guy that's just not really paying attention to him. You know, he's trying to go for the big. Count, you know uh, the big bombs, dude. He's not looking for the check down. The head coach even came out and said he needs to check down more. But that was like before last week, and you saw what he did. He tried to be hero, tried to put on a cape. So um, there's a, there's a there's an argument to be had that um, that Kamara is not what you think he is, and to be able to get a wide receiver one, in my opinion, and also a running back that could equal that is actually outscoring Kamara right now. I think it's a fair trade. Okay, well, I think that I think that you proved my point, but I, I, I digress. I am going to start Devonte Smith, Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders. That's it for the Eagles. Not Goddard. What about uh, Goddard since uh, um, yeah, I'll Hertz start, is on I'll, I'll, I'll start Goddard. Those, uh, those a lot. Of, what about if you're if you have a league that um, that gives you return points, you know, or. Uh, or points for return yards. Uh, Rager, uh, Jalen Rager, I mean, he returns uh, kicks. Would you be somebody be interested in, like, in flex or something like that? Yeah, I'm very new to that concept, so, yeah. Yeah, I would. Okay. Okay. All right. And, um, of course, Gainwell. I mean, you don't start that guy. What about the defense and the kicker That's for Gainwell. Philadelphia? No. No. No? Okay. All right. Um, Dallas. Dak Prescott. Oh, just the, like, Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb. Zeke, Tony Pollard. However, this one was an easy ceasefire on Amari Cooper and uh, Zerline, and of course the tight ends. It's difficult. Yeah, difficult to see who's gonna who's gonna come out on that there. Well, do you agree? Yeah, the Cowboys have three defensive ends who are listed out for the game, as well as a linebacker hmm. and an offensive tackle. So the Cowboys are already five men out on this game. Not looking good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, meanwhile, yeah. the Eagles have four listed at questionable. Some of them we don't care about, like Boston Scott, but others are important, like Jason Kelsey and, uh, you know, the an offensive tackle and Fletcher Cox. Yeah, yeah. I agree, man. I agree. I agree. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so so start those uh, Cowboys, man. Yeah, because I think it's going to be a good good game for Zeke Pollard and Lamb and Prescott. I think Zeke's going to All start. right. 
<laughs> maybe uh all right man well, that that does it that that gives us the the last shoot and cease fire for a while with connor but it's the uh it's the week three so we went and summed that up hopefully we were able to help you guys figure out differences between who you would like to start and who you'd like to sit um if you enjoyed watching two uh generational beef heads bantering about please like or subscribe to the channel and um we'd like to you want to go ahead and thank our sponsor you Connor? Yes, sir. Thank you, Sports Host, for being the number one sports app out there for transcending the troll. Download nice. below. Link in the description. Nice. Nice. And uh, High Volume Music Radio. Yeah, make sure to uh, download that app also. Yeah. Um, Connor, talk about your book real quick, man. I wrote a book called You Know Too Much, which was about a mentalist I met at a church, and oh, he was a real cool guy, and you know, no one there paid attention to him. Not very church-like. And uh, he had a lot of cool stories, and you know, at first, you know, I listened to him, and was like, man, you're crazy. This shit ain't true. And then, you know, you, you look the shit up that he told you, and it would be true. And then there'd be that moment where it's like, you, you're locking eyes with him, and it's like, motherfucker, you did that shit. And he's like, I know I did that shit. You know, and it's just, it made it made talking to him so interesting. Yeah, and uh, make sure to uh, download the High Volume Music Radio app, uh, and also check out Drive Time Sports with Charlie and Brian every Thursday from four to six on on High Volume Music Radio dot com, and also on the High Volume Music Radio app. All right, so on behalf of Connor, the Gut Marshall, and me, your humble MC Brian the Amigo Baldwin, I want to thank you for watching. We hope that this year is a damn sight better than the last. My party shot, Connor. Gonna miss you, man. Gonna miss you, dude. Uh, love what you bring. You know, uh, you know the fire and everything like that, and and of course the uh, the guns. We're not, you know, so the the show is gonna get a little bit less sexy with you uh, with you not around. But um, yes, you know, for the but it'll be right for you. It's gonna be le le less sexy and also less messy. <laughs> yes. so, messy because yeah. all the sexy. There you go. There you go. All right, man. You want to say anything? You want to say uh, last party shot before we say goodbye? Stay water. Nice. All right. Then go and help me out with this last line. Remember, everyone, in fantasy football as in life. Don't dream it. Be it. Nice. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck in your games. Good luck in your games, guys. Mm-hmm.